Can you draw a perfect circle? In this game, you have to draw a circle as best as you can, and it will give you a score. And if I focus hard enough, I can draw a perfect circle. Just watch. Now, you might think that was a fluke. I I'm going to do it again just so you know it's you know really easy for me. So there you go. Yes, that is perfect. That is a perfect circle right there. I'm going to teach you how I did this even if you don't know any programming. And it's going to be fun. It's going to involve math. And it's just going to be so cool. Think about the logic of what we're trying to do. We're trying to make the computer click on a certain point on the screen, specifically this point, right? So to do that, we do need a certain library, which is pi called PyAutoGUI. And then we're going to do PyAutoGUI.mouse down, like just left click, right? But where do we want it to left click? We, it's a certain point in the screen. I mean, look at this problem. It's a certain point exactly in the middle of the screen. But what is the middle of my screen? I mean, there's going to be a center X, you know, if you look at the uh, X coordinates and there's going to be a center Y, right? My screen is 1920 by 1080, 1920 pixels in the width and 1080 pixels in the height. The center of it is just going to be 1920 divided by two. And you know, the same for Y, it's gonna be 1080 divided by two. If it's the X axis is the horizontal side of my screen and the Y axis is the vertical, which, which is always is, uh, the center X is going to be 1920 divided by two and the center Y is gonna be 1080 by divided two, as I said. Great, so we found the center, we know it's right here, uh, but we're not trying to click on the center, we're trying to click on a certain point that is to the right of the center. If it's, this is exactly on the X axis, it's to the right. How much is it to the right? by the radius, right? This is going to be the radius of the circle, right? So we're gonna to have to define also a radius here. Let me just do it, clean that up. And then we're gonna say radius. How big should it be? Um, doesn't matter really what we put here. It can be 100 pixels. I'm gonna go with 300 because I know it works honestly, but uh, it can be 100. If you do 100, it's probably gonna be this small, which is just too small. So where are we trying to do exactly the mouse down? We said we're gonna do it center X plus a radius, right? This is the center plus this radius here. Uh, and then we're going to do center Y. Th those are the X and Y coordinates that we're trying to get the computer to left click. Next exact step is I wanted to go one degree above. One degree above, I'm gonna exaggerate, let's see like here, uh, what is going to be the coordinates of this specific point? This is where math is going to get involved. Obviously this is the X and Y axis on this circle. And then this specific point is going to be at a certain angle, right? And we're gonna call this theta. We're gonna add to the code that when we started, the angle was zero. Right, we're starting at an angle of zero. So what is our X and Y going to be for this specific point? This is where you have to do trigonometry, but basically the X, which is this length here, is going to be the center plus the radius times the cosine of this theta. So we're gonna write that down. So our X is going to be the center plus our radius, which you've defined, times the cosine, which we're gonna have to use math of a certain angle that we haven't defined yet. We're gonna import math as well. And Y is going to be, again, the center Y plus the radius times the math dot sine of that angle. So once it clicked here, we want it to move here, right? So moving would require us to use the move to function in PyAutoGUI. It's very simple. I mean, we say move to and it does move to. So it's going to move to that X and Y. Now this work is complicated. How do you want it to move across every dot here? This circle is 360 degrees. But you know, in math terms, we usually say in radians, right? So this circle is actually uh, two times pi. So we can say actually while the angle is smaller than two times pi, do something. We're gonna explain what that is. Since we, you know, we're putting this all in a loop, we're going to move these and intend them to the right with tab. Since we want the angle to keep increasing, here you can see like, you know, this going to go from here and then here and then here, the angle is gonna keep increasing. This is gonna be at 90 degrees and here's gonna be at 180 degrees. So we're going to actually increase the angle by a certain amount. So it's gonna be angle equals angle plus, plus what? This is where it's a little bit complicated. Now I can just say plus 0 0.1, you know? Let's see how this works. Let's, let's try it out. Now, before I try it out, I do have to make the computer let go of left click. So I do have to do pi auto GUI dot mouse up. You know, we did mouse down here. Now we have to do mouse up. Now the 0.1 degrees is just whatever. I can put whatever I want. I just decided to go with 0.1 because it just made sense. I can do anything. Now let's run this program right here on our screen. I am going to move this to the other side so I can run it. And then I'm running the program that we wrote together and let's see what happens. And that is a perfect circle. And that's how you can draw it in this game. I don't think there's 100% 
But that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're now interested in programming a little bit. I try to make that as simple as I can while explaining the logic on the side. So hope you enjoyed that and make sure to like and follow for STEM content.